I forgot to do that, didn't I? I was gonna do that as well. I was gonna be a bastard, wasn't I? Dave's got a kit. <laughs> you know what I think? I think he's a twat. <laughs> So who's up for this walk today then? I know Barky's on it. Barky's on it like a car bonnet. Who else is on it? Take my camera with you, Joe. I think I've been up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barky's game. <laughs> Should be horrible unless it's defending you, you know what I mean? They should all be like this. Happy, content. And that's what makes them like this. I know, yeah. You're happy, aren't you, son? Hey. Hey. <laughs> they are, they're lovely dogs. Absolutely lovely pair of dogs, these two. Yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I'm uh, as a kind of regular thing, like I'm usually off Sunday, Monday, so generally speaking, if I ever do anything, it's them days, you know what I mean? It's just because I'm stuck with them days, do you know what I mean? But, um, definitely, yeah, yeah. Well, well, the guy who showed me the place, cause he originally, Kieran K, he's from Bolton, like, so every time I go up there, you know, I always sort of give him a shot. So every, you never know, yeah. But obviously, every time I go up there, I'll get you both on a group text. Every time I go up there, I'll send you both a text to let you know. Obviously, if you're a bar, you're a bar. If you're not, you're not. We'll do it another time, you know what I mean? Because he, get, he gets up there most weeks with me, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just let him know. I'll say, right, I'm definitely up there this week, you know what I mean? If you're there, you're there. If you're not, you're not, you know what I mean? If he's not, I'll go and have a wander and do my own thing. And yeah, yeah. And if he's there, we get together and we have a nice, we have a nice mooch and a bit of a chin wag, you know what I mean? And, it's not, it's not bad, it's not bad. I enjoy it. Right then, YouTube. <laughs> Sunday early afternoon, and we're on a walk up Greensbrook up there. So, uh, six of us have gone out. <laughs> Whether six will make it, I don't know. <laughs> but we'll soon see. We've got Kipper with us as well, look. Little Kip. <coughs> We're going to have a nice mooch all the way up there and uh, should get a bit cooler once we're up there and we get a bit of the breeze. We're going to follow the stream all the way up to the top and get up to uh, 
what me and Lenny called Apache Rock, where you caught that video of the Apache flying over. Uh, and then we're going to have a brew. So we'll get a bit further up, guys, and we shall bring you back. Right then, YouTube. <laughs> We've come but 300 metres and we were all nearly dead. <laughs> We've still got to get right up there and then all the way down there somewhere. So uh, there's still six for the time being, but we'll keep you updated. We'll see you soon. Bit steady to this YouTube. Only gone 400 metres and we've already had two breaks. I do not know what is going on. Right then, back again. And we're uh, we're getting close to death at this point. Uh, but we've only actually come in reality 600 metres, 700 metres, and that's it. You won't believe it, but. There you go. <laughs> and they're on their uh, their third catchy breathy break down there. But we're onwards and upwards. We're not actually that far off the top now. Um, and this is the easier bit of the path now. It's a bit easier on the old thigh muscles. But what a day. The weather's absolutely beautiful. And up here we've just started getting a lovely cool breeze which is uh, warmly welcomed by me because it's keeping me just right so it is here yeah, look you can see from here david that field that they're camping in there and the one in front of it that's cooper's uh, that's just behind the cafe in the post office so you can see that one field that is right down here and it's kind of hidden by the trees and then obviously ours, Hollowbrook Farm, is kind of behind us, it's hiding behind this hill here. So once we get a bit further up, we'll be able to see, we should be able to see everybody. We have to see Foxy and all them down there, still sitting down like, uh, yeah, we'll get a bird's eye view, so we will have Hollowbrook, and we'll uh, we'll bring you back then and we'll give you a view, guys. So we'll see you later. This YouTube, look at this, like a trooper, Mr. Yeah, Scooty, and he's gone. What can I say? And look at Lenny and Barky down there, Barky Marky. Look at him, they're, they're done in. So we'll, uh, we <laughs> he's done, look. Like I say, six went, whether six will make it up there, only Sam will tell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all in a bit. Ah, right, then, YouTube. We're here. We made it. This is pretty much as high as we're going. We've got to go a little bit further up there, but that gradient's nothing. So we'll stop here, wait half an hour, and uh, let the slow lads catch up. <laughs> and then we shall crack on. And while we're up here, we shall give you a view of Hollowbrook Farm. Here we go, look, Dave, it's down here, pal. So obviously the field we're in is just behind that cluster of buildings, that big long one, I think. Hold on, no, where are we? Have I got it wrong? Let me think now, no, hold on, that's the field we're in. So that's us field there, that strip in front of that cluster, sorry, in the middle, not that cluster, not that cluster, one in the middle, that's us there. Obviously we've come all the way down that path and up and round. What a view though, what a view, look at that, and now that you're up here you can start to see some of the other yeah. background scenery as well because you've got high enough, look at that though. <laughs> look at that, everybody made it. Edale, Oliverbrook Farm. You would wish you was there. 
Right then, we'll bring you back guys when we get uh, further along and we get up to Apache Rock for us brew. So I'll see you in Look a bit. Look at that YouTube, not a word out of any of them. Silence. Absolute silence. <laughs> Here's filming you, filming me, Barky. <laughs> Look at that view, though. See if we can get you zoom in on that. Look at that. We're still to get up there, yeah. And as you can see, it's quite steep. So uh, we shall see you up there. Right then YouTube, I don't know if you can see this, but look at look at the stet of these here. Look. Got Scooty here, uh, Barky Marky over there, and Lenny right down there, look. Gabbing away on the video. And then little Kipper bringing up rear. <laughs> but we're actually, we're nearly there now. Pretty much at the top. And as you can see, the view is rather stunning. quite a few other people out here today as well so obviously we're not the only ones daft enough to be up here so I'll uh, I shall bring you back in a minute when we get up to uh, Apache Rock right then YouTube so this is Apache Rock um, Pennine way over there there's Dave behind me um, and I'll uh, I'll probably bring you back in about what 20 minutes half an hour when uh, barking badger mr scooty and lenny eventually managed to uh, to catch up to us uh, but i'm getting my brew on because i'm dying for a brew so i'll bring you back youtube we've already got brew ready to go on there look. and look eventually eventually they get here look i've only been here in two hours waiting for them i don't know <laughs> Yeah, then. Let's get us brew on. Ah, right, then YouTube. Six of us fucking actually made us up here. I don't know how we did it. All of us were here. We've had us brews. We've had us Mr. Tom's. Kipper's sunbathing. I know, Gary's about to rip his backpack in pieces. And the weather's still holding up for us, we're not doing too bad. And it certainly do not look like we're going to be getting any rain today either, so that's a bonus. We've got ourselves all packed up and we're going to get ourselves on our way in a brief moment. And then we'll be on the way down. We'll go and check on the others at the farm, and they probably haven't moved. Bet Foxy will still be behind his table. <laughs> With Bob at his ankle. <laughs> well, there you go. So we're all happy. None of us are dead yet. <laughs> There's still time yet, though, and we'll bring you back later. Alright then, guys, so we've uh, been walking now for a few minutes. We've just left Apache Rock. Had our brews and that. Had a little rest. We're forging our way on to get all the water bring over there. The Apparently Lenny's going for a swim as well. Ooh, hello. That was a good one, wasn't it? Huh. Nice catch Barky. Look at that for a view. We're getting a bit higher up here now than what we were. Um, it does undulate a bit, goes up and down, up and down, but by the time we get back up there we'll be higher up again. Uh, but so far it's been a, an absolutely lovely walk. Weather's absolutely amazing and everyone's got a smile on their faces. So we are all having fun. So we're going to get a bit further on down here guys. Uh, along this Panheim way and uh, we'll bring you back later on Right then YouTube we had a bit of a change of plan so instead of going down Grinsbrook and back into Edale we're off up to uh, Kinderscarp 
we've decided. Barky was ready to smash it, so we thought we might as well all go. <laughs> but check that out for a view. We're near enough at the highest point of this part of the Pennine Way anyway, so the views are pretty nice. see for miles. Must be able to see at least 40 miles in that direction over there. Not bad that. Ah then you old job. We're off up here. And if we bloody make it without dying, we'll uh, bring you back. Oh, you old job. So we're, uh, we're still on our way up to Kinder Scout. The boys behind me there. And we're going up there and that is the highest peak in Edale over a thousand foot so once we've all got up there I think we're going to have another brew and then we're going to turn around and disappear sharpish back to camp so we can get something to eat because I'm bloody starving uh, that massive breakfast we had is finally starting to wear off and my energy supplies are dwindling <laughs> but uh on the upside weather's amazing uh, not too hot not too cold with a nice bit of a breeze uh, so we're not far off guys another couple of hundred meters and we'll be up there so i shall bring you back in a minute well we made it youtube just about Kinder Scar officially, I do believe he's just behind Dave over there, that little, that little peak, but this is close enough for me, so brew time, and then I'm bloody hot tailing it back to camp and getting some snap down because I'm starving, so I'm going to get this brew and I'm going to see you all in a bit. Well, bugger me YouTube, look at the state of that, the weather's just turned on us, so we're hot tailing it back down to Edale. Uh, and whether you can make it out, it's fog everywhere, it's raining and uh, it's easy to see how if people get caught up here unprepared and under equipped and without a bloody clue you can see how it will all go wrong very quickly because the visibility has just dropped to not very much and uh, about half an hour ago you could see for about 40-50 miles so there you go. We've had a cracking walk. Near enough up the top of Kinder Scar, not quite to the top of it, the official top, but near enough. We had us a brew. No, leave that kit. Kit, get out of it. Come on. Come on. Um dirty carcass on the floor there. I don't want Kipper with his head in it. Right then, so we're going to crack on guys, because um, it is raining. I don't want to do too much filming in case I ruin this camera because it's not got its waterproof case on. But we are hot tailing it right back down here as fast as we bloody can. So we shall bring you back. Oh my gosh, YouTube. We just got hammered up at top of Kinderskart. Weather just changed. Within a couple of minutes, we could see it coming, uh, but we thought it'd be a bit longer than that, and it literally just flipped on us. Uh, mist rolling in, visibility down to next to nothing, and uh, some pretty heavy rain. So what I decided to do was do the, uh, probably set a record for the quickest ever descent of Grinsbrook. And... Um, <sighs> Lenny and uh, Mr. Scooty and Barking Badger and Dave are still up there. I bloody left them. They were too slow for my liking and I was getting rained on and I don't like getting rained on. So uh, I did a bit of a not shoe shuffle down Grinsbrook. And I'm pretty sure I was setting records. Uh, the good news is I was bloody soaked. Uh, but now I'm not. Because uh, it's it's nice down here this is how we started off the day and it's been like this all day and then when we got to our final destination the heavens opened 
I blame Barking Badger personally because he was the one who suggested to go up there. We was just going to go up Grinsville, have a brew on Apache Rock and come back down again. But that didn't work out very well. So, <laughs> oh, but I'm bloody starving. Uh, my breakfast is wearing off. I mean, to be fair, we have been out for a while. Uh, what time are we on? 20 past four. We've been out for a, a good long while. Um, we've had an awesome walk. It's been an awesome day. Um, but quite frankly, if I didn't get back to that camp and get some snap down me, wouldn't have been good. Because I get really grouchy and horrible when I'm uh, when I'm ever hungry or tired. And to be fair, I'm quite tired. So if you're going to add hunger to the bargain as well, things are going to go wrong very quickly. And uh, them lot was taking their time down, down the top of there, so I thought, right, I'm off. Pew! Gone! Didn't even see me dust trails, I was that quick. And uh, I've overtook numerous people on the way down here because nobody can quite keep up with me. What can I say? I'm like a little mountain goat. But that's kind of what I was trained to do, right? I, uh, I used to do some pretty hefty tabs during my training and uh, most of the time nobody could keep up uh, but like I say if I didn't get down from there I, I was going to bloody disintegrate I'm, I, there's an hole in my stomach that feels so bad I don't think I'm ever going to be able to fill it uh, but luckily camps are it's just over there so <laughs> I've got another few hundred metres to wind myself back and then I'm there. Um, and I think we're going to be on a bit of chicken tikka because I'm bloody starving. Uh, and then we'll go and check up on uh, on everybody else that's still left at camp. Most of them probably haven't moved. Uh, but I had to get out today. I've been minding the campsite for a couple of days making sure I was there for everybody turning up so I can brief them and say hello to them and keep everybody happy and keep an eye on the place and make sure nobody's doing anything bloody stupid um, but yeah there you go so I'm going to head down here guys uh, I can see some rain dripping off the trees here so I'm going to put the camera away so we don't get it wet so I'll catch you back at the farm um, and if we don't see any sign of the other lads in a couple of hours, we'll have to send out search and rescue. Uh, so I'll see you all Where in a bit. Where have you been? I've got the fire on for you! I thought, I thought you were better than that. Think of yourself, fuck off and leave us. You're fucking too right, you bunch of slow bastards. <laughs> and I fucking turned into a skeleton. I was starving, man. I didn't get off that fucking mountain. I know, blame Barky. You're a fucking grown man, you Well, I've been faffing about, I've been back, got the bruise on, got the snap on, got the fire going. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny that, right, I'm going anywhere oh, soon. I know, I wish I'd had that, that was awesome, little Bobby begging. Oh, come on please, I'm hungry. <laughs> Look at his tail. Oh, Bobby. 
güey. Let's keep adding. Oh, Kip's gone to bed, look. Kip's having a kip in there. And th this is who's left now. Everybody else is scarpered. Oh, I read YouTube. Right then. Monday morning. Nearly ten past eight in the morning, and look at the weather again. This is what we have had all weekend in Edale. Absolutely bliss. So we still got striking hand behind me, prep nomad over there. We've got Dave, we've got Dog Soldier, we've got Stalky Joe and Jackie, we've got Barky Badger, we've got Lenny six foot five, and we've got fifty one Foxy. They're all still here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish packing up. Uh, pretty much took most of my setup down now. Nothing in there. Dutch arm is ready to come down in a minute. And uh, packed everything else away. Other than my chair. So we're pretty much good to go. Um, I'm going to have a little bimble down into the village. Get some fags. And then uh, come back up here. And I think we're just going to spend uh, another couple of hours just having a, a bit of a, a bit of a chill out. Last sort of catch up before we all have to head off in our separate directions. Uh, and then me and Lenny are going to give a quick check over the camp and uh, see what the crack is. So what can I say guys, It's it's been an awesome weekend. For those of you that didn't come, honestly you missed an absolute corker um, of a weekend. Um, but there you go. All oh, the lads are packing down now. Tell you what, my mate's got one of them for me. He was like, oh, I've got an issue bed for you. I was like, oh, I love it. They're all right then. But the ones ain't gonna fit in a Dutch so. The ones from Argos, they as long as that, and I think maybe not as wide in it, not it quite. Be, yeah, yeah. It might be that just wide. a touch narrower, aren't they? But it's thinner stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's lower. It might be about that much lower. Yeah, you yeah, no. Get it in there. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I think you're right. It's probably the only one you would get in there. But these are all right, though. These, like I say, my mate who, who just come out and give me all that bloody gear of his, uh, he's got one. Have a look at dimensions. What's this off from? That's off from. One of the dogs have had a fucking whack at it, haven't they? <laughs> 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 they chewed it to bits, haven't they? Little buggers. No, it is, they're all right then. Do they know how long it took me to make that? <laughs> we just came here to. We knew anybody that had a fly fishing rod. A bucket. What, and try and get and it? Try and get it in the bucket. You know, an activity, something to do. I know that. You can't play, you can't play heavy, don't worry about it. People make their own thing, innit? Mm, well. I've got a few bits on it, if you want, mate. I've enjoyed it. I knew what I was coming into. You know what I mean? Just the meat, mate. Yeah. The meat, and that was it. I know, that's all it was. Simple as that, innit? You want to do that? 
Yeah. That's exactly what I said though, innit? I was rather than everyone pay fucking hundred quid to go bushcraft show and use it as a social gathering, why don't we just make a social fucking gathering? Fucking beat, be, fucking says fucking about it. Well, that's it. I'll be honest with you, I don't really call myself a bushcrafter. I don't really do that much bush, bushcraft. I'm, I just enjoy the outdoors, you know what I mean? That's about as good as it gets. That's all I eat, all that, though. Fucking hell, 10 minutes. Look, when you got me Dutch army to put down, I'm done. Fucking hell. <laughs> I know. It's all, it's all right. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to the stage where we get, we get glampy. You know what I mean? When we're on these weekends. And well, yeah. But no, like next one needs. Well, I'm gonna get like a bigger tent like yours, like, and then fucking get a nice fucking bed in it. I ain't doing all that floor anymore. Fuck me, four that four nights on the floor. I'm stiff as a board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. And I was like, yep, yeah, dude, you're all right. Right then. What a weekend, boys and girls. What can I say? Probably gonna be the last bit of footage I do now. We're all buggering our form soon. What the weather again today? Bloody hell, look at that. I'd quite happily stay here another week, I reckon. And then some. Old Kipper's getting stroked over there, look. <laughs> Old Bobby's hiding over there, look. Bob the camp dog. Here he is, Bobby camp dog. Alright, Bobby. Hello, mate. Hello. He's a good lad, hey, Bobby the camp dog. I know, yeah. <laughs> it's getting a bit of attention, aren't you, pal? <laughs> right then. What am I gonna do? I think we'll go for a bimble in Edale and then we'll go and check out the campsite, make sure everything's all right, so Richard doesn't have to fuck about. There's not even going to be that much to do. Quick scan over. Yeah, that's sod it. I'm leaving you there, you old chub. I'm going. I've had enough. We'll sort the rest of this stuff out. Go to Edale. And we're on a winner. We'll get some facts. A nice, nice little walk down in the sun. And then that's us for the weekend. Um, what can I say, guys? Everybody who came, um, I really appreciated it. Uh, your company was very welcome. Um, we had a cracking time. I hope everybody had a cracking time. Everybody that we spoke to said that they've had a cracking time. I don't know whether they're just lying to us <laughs> or whether they actually did have a good time, but I'm pretty sure they had a good time. Um, like I said, a weekend has been has been amazing, um, and everybody's ready again for September because we want to do another one in September. So there you go, guys. Um, bloody car looks like a bloody bombs at it in the boot and in the back. But there's not really much I can do about that. <laughs> so yeah, on that note, guys, I'm uh, I'm gonna leave you there. Um, this is the end of my video footage for Great Northern Bushcraft Conference. Uh, but I know there's going to be a lot of footage out there. There's going to be hours of footage because everybody else has been doing their own. So obviously, get on YouTube and get watching the old uh, videos that people have put up for our conference. And you can get a better idea of what it's all about. So there you go, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've enjoyed the weekend as much as we have. We'll see you in a bit.